everybody, it's Edie, and I am here because several of you have shown interest in my replica Hocus Pocus book, and you've been inspired to hollow out your own books. So I figured I would do a flip through of my Hocus Pocus replica, and then give you a tutorial and some tips on how to hollow out a book of your own. So my book uh, is an altered book, and it's hollowed out, which is what I'll be showing you today. And what I did was take an old book and just hollow a small section out in the middle here. So I've got about um, about an inch of hollowed space here. I could actually hollow it quite a bit more because this is a very thick book, but I've decided to just leave it um, not very deep for this one. Let me give you a quick flip through of my book and then I'll get to the tutorial. My book was made with tissue paper, polymer clay, and paper clay. I hand sculpted the eyeball, I hand sculpted all of the stitching, and I sculpted all of the parts that you see here. The only thing that was on here was a plain book. Everything else I've sculpted myself. And then the fingers here I sculpted as well. And then the back as you can see, is also clay sculpture pieces. The clasp here has two hinges, so it actually opens and closes. And I even have some of the real book pages, their replica pages from the movie book itself. There we go. And I actually still need to add some more of these pages, but um, I wanted to let it set and dry for a while before I added any more pages. And you can see I still have just a few pages left here, and what I'm doing is gluing in the pages and attaching them to the book pages that are already in here. That way they're more secure. And I think I'll be selling these replica books. So if you're interested in having one of these replicas for your own, leave me a message in the YouTube comments and I will get you my email address and we can talk more about getting you a replica. Okay, so let's move on. So I just have an old book here that I was going to use for a project. And what I want to do is hollow out the center so that I can have a hidey hole or you know I can I can make this a shadow box or whatever I'll, I'll have the book so first of all what you need to do is figure out how much of your book you want to be hollowed for example if if I wanted to open the cover and find the hole then I would start right here on the title page if I wanted a few pages to cover or you know say half the book even to cover my hole so that it wasn't so obvious when you open the book, then you really want to skip those pages, open your book, and start from there uh, with the with the gluing that I'm going to explain to you in just a few minutes. So the tools you'll need are obviously a book. You'll need a regular heavy duty retractable razor blade. And the reason I say that is because not only is the blade longer but you get a better grip on it. You can really put some force down on this and you're less likely to break the tip of your razor blade. Now, if you are using a an X-Acto, you're going to be here a really long time because you're only going to be able to cut two or three pages at a time and the odds of you breaking your blade are much higher with an X-Acto. With one of these retractable, regular, heavy-duty, like you know, go get it from Home Depot. <laughs> a regular, uh, you know, like construction worker's blade. It's going to be a sturdier razor blade and it's got the grips on it. You can really put pressure. You're not going to break your blade and you can make the blade really long, which is helpful. So, that's one of the most important things. If, if you only have one thing to hollow out your book, this is what I suggest you get. Next, you're going to need a paintbrush. 
gel medium or Mod Podge. They both work equally well. I happen to have gel medium on hand, so that's what I'll be using today. But you could use Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a whole heck of a lot cheaper, so if you don't normally have gel medium on hand, then just go pick up some Mod Podge. And you can pick up the matte or the glossy. It doesn't really matter. It's going on the outside of your pages. So if you want your pages to be shiny, then go with the regular glossy Mod Podge. If you want your pages to be matte and look just like a regular book like this, then it's important that you get the matte Mod Podge or use matte medium instead of gel medium because it will be seen and that's the glue holding your pages together. So that's going to determine which one you want. You'll need a ruler and a pencil. Okay, let's get started. For my Hocus Pocus book, I left a few pages uncut, and that's what I was gluing the replica pages in. For this one, I'm going to start right here on the very first page. And actually, the first page is kind of stuck to the cover, so I'm going to rip that page out. It's torn anyway. And I'm going to start right here with the first page of the book. So this is the cover. There's no additional pages flipped over. Remember. If you don't want the hole in your book to be noticeable as soon as you open the cover, you need to flip a few pages, or if you're going to use these for something, you need to flip those pages before you start your gluing. Very important. Now, since I'm going to start from the first page, I'm just going to open my cover and get it out of the way. And like I said, I'm using gel medium, but again, you can use Mod Podge. Either one will work. And remember, if you want your pages glossy, you can use the glossy regular Mod Podge. If you don't want your pages shiny, then you need to use the matte. And the same goes with gel medium and matte medium. What you want to do is glue your pages down. It's very important that you glue all three sides of your book pages together. So the top and bottom of your book as well as the outside edge all need to be glued down before you start cutting. Otherwise, your pages are going to shift and they're going to tear and it's not going to be pretty and it's going to be really difficult for you to carve the center out of your book. So again, go across the top, the side, and the bottom of the pages. You want to make sure that you get the entire side of the book, all three sides. You want to go right up to the binding and you want to go all the way down to the bottom. Even if you get it on the cover, that's okay. And you want to make sure you get those very top pages all glued. And you don't have to go through and glue each individual page together because we're going to do several layers of this and it will hold. You don't have to glue each individual page. You just want to really saturate all three sides. And again, make sure you get those top couple pages. And don't be stingy with the glue and gel medium and Mod Podge. You really want to put it on there. Because this is thick and you you want it to stay together. You don't want it to come apart. You don't want to have gaps. Again, go all the way to the cover. I keep hitting my lamp. That's what that, dong, that's what you keep hearing. Get those top pages, and if you get it on the top page, it's okay. And if you're worried about that, skip the top page, glue all of your pages together, and then you can go back and add just that very top page, you know, glue underneath the bottom side of it. So for example, if you were worried about getting your Mod Podge and stuff up here on the top of the page. You would glue your edges here. Once this was completely done, you would just take your gel medium and go along the bottom edge of the very top page and glue it down separately before you start cutting. It's very important that your pages are all glued together before you start cutting. And if your book is wrinkled like this, it's okay. Push it down. Get the glue in there. And then we're going to set something on top of this so it will stay in place. It's alright. Again, go all the way to the binding of your book. And really push the glue down in there. 
If you get glue on the outside edge of your book, if you're not covering it with, it with anything else, you need to wipe that off pretty quickly with a damp cloth so that you don't have Mod Podge and gel medium or sticky things on the outside of your book. But if you are covering it, it doesn't matter. Just keep going. Just keep gluing. <laughs> Just keep gluing. Again, push these pages down while you're gluing it down. And then if they pop back up, it's okay because you've already got the glue down in there. So I have all three edges coated in my first layer of gel medium. So now what I want to do is set something very heavy on top of this, something that completely covers the book because you want all of the edges to be pressed down. And if you've got gel medium up here, put a piece of wax paper down first. Then set something really heavy on top of this because you want the whole book to be compressed down. And if it's right in the middle here, that's going to be great, but it's not going to help with your edges. So you need to make sure that whatever you're putting on here completely covers. You can even close your book, especially if you put the wax paper here. Completely close your book, set something really heavy on here, and then just set it off to the side and let it dry. You can hit this with the heat gun, which is what I'm going to do. But I do highly recommend that you just let it set and dry out by itself because that way you know it's completely dry, it's fully cured from the inside out, there's no wetness left, and you'll be able to move forward without without it coming apart. So, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun, and then I'm going to do two more coats exactly like what I just did. So, all in all, see this is why you need a piece of wax paper. <laughs> so all in all, you want to do three coats, three complete coats of the gel medium or Mod Podge, whatever you're using to glue your pages down. Glue it, set it off to dry. Glue it, set it off to dry. Glue it, set it off to dry. Three complete rounds, let it be completely dry in between each round of Mod Podge or gel medium. I'm going to go add the other two coats and then I'll be back to show you how to hollow out the book. Okay, I've applied three coats of gel medium to all three sides of my book and I had something heavy sitting on top of it and I hit mine with the heat gun between each layer but like I said I really recommend you letting it set on its own to dry naturally that way it really sets and gets hard and you can see I had wax paper in between my cover and the front page and that's why because you can see even the wax paper stuck a little bit but it kept my cover from sticking to where I had this little bit of gel medium on the top page, you know, on the edge of the top page. All right, let's move on. Next you want to grab your ruler and you want to figure out how big you want your hole to be. I like to come in about one inch, depending on the size of the book. This book is actually a little bit small, so I'll probably do three quarters of an inch. And you just want to make a mark at that three quarter of an inch space. This is actually not quite right because of the fold of the book. Now you want to go through and mark your lines. Now if you're going to cover this top page with something, it doesn't matter if your lines are precise. You don't have to stop, you can just go all the way to the edge like that. If you're not going to cover that and you need it to be as pretty as possible, then you want to just make sure that you only draw the, the rectangle that you're going to need to cut. You don't want to have any extra um, excess lines sticking out past the top. Oops, and I got that line crooked. Even with the ruler, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. <laughs> How sad. Okay. Now I have my outline marked, and this is where you want to make your cut. You want to make sure that your glue has had time to set. 
if you've hit it with the heat gun, you want to let it cool for a little while because when it's warm, it's still likely to be pliable and let loose. You want to make sure that your glue is really dry and completely set and hardened. Now you want to take your X-Acto and I start with just a little bit to kind of get my marks going. And you really want to press. You want to make sure that you're not cutting towards your body. Obviously, you're going to pull down towards you, but I'm standing off to the side of my book. You can't tell it, but you know I'm way over here off to the side uh, because I just don't want to take any chances of cutting myself. And you just want to go down, you know, two or three times just to get your line going. These first couple of cuts are going to be the most difficult, and they're going to be the trickiest because this is the top of your book, so they need to be the prettiest. You want to apply a lot of pressure. Try to make sure that the pressure is even. And you want to press down on your book as you're cutting. Press down on the middle and press down on your blade. You want to only cut on your marked lines. And you want to make sure that you don't go past it. So if I'm cutting, I need to make sure I stop here. Because if I go past that, I'm going to cut my page and then it's going to tear off and it's, it's not going to... Um, it's not going to be level and hollowed properly. So I'm just doing three cuts on each line just to get my mark. Just to kind of give myself a guide. Because once you get your blade down in there a little bit, you'll just follow the edge. It won't, you won't have to be so precise with it because it will automatically just stay in the groove. And you want to hold, like when you get to the corners, hold your corners so that they don't lift up or tear and so that they're not jagged. Okay. Now I'm going to pop out these first pages. And sometimes you might have to put your blade down in there and pry them up a little bit. Well, I didn't cut all the way through, so I'm not going to pull those on out. But you get the idea. So you'll pull these pages out. Now, you can extend your blade all the way out and really start cutting. And you can press down, and this blade will go fairly deep. And that's what you want. You just want to keep cutting. And you want to make your lines as even as possible so you just want to start at the beginning every time and go all the way down to the end try not to do half marks or little marks like that you want to do the full strip that way it's cut evenly all the way across and all the way through and you may want to allow for a couple of ugly pages if you do slip especially in the beginning um, I suggest leaving a couple of extra pages on the top that you can then take out. You'll be able to go through this way, and if you, um, I'll actually show you on this top page. Say I want to remove this ugly torn page where I went over a little bit too far, I'll just push my finger through. You can see I went right through the gel medium, and then it peels away. And you'll just go and remove just the top page or two if you tear them. If you don't tear them, then you don't have to worry about this. But it's just a little tip in case you do tear that first page or cut that first page by accident. And I've really got my body weight pressed on this book here right in the middle. And you want to make sure that you're not cutting towards your hand. Keep your hands out of the way and keep your body out of the way in case the blade does slip. Because you're applying so much pressure, it may slip out and, you know, come down at you. So you want to make sure that your legs and everything are out of the way. Hold the book off to the side of you a little bit if you can. <coughs> There we go. So I'm going to pull a few more of these pages out. And 
And you can see, even though I've only made basically two cuts, I've already got a nice hollow happening here. Now, on the corners, you might find that you get a little bit of this jaggedness at the end, once you finish hollowing your book. You can go back, and that's when you want to do these little marks to pinpoint and get precise right into those corners. And then that all just comes right out. And there you go. Now you just keep going and you just keep making those cuts. Remember, all the way down from the top to the bottom, try to keep it as level as possible and go as deep as you like. You want to make sure that you leave at least a portion of your book unhollowed because you need something sturdy on the back side of that and you want the, the book pages to show through. So you can see I've got quite a bit hollowed out already and I've only made really two cuts. I made that initial cut and then I made that first cut down and it's actually hollowed a bit more than that. I'm just not popping those pages out but it does go deeper than that already. Okay, another couple of tips. You may notice that there is a little bit of gel medium bubbled here and in these grooves of my pages you'll see a little bit of gel medium bubbled. I'm okay with that but if you don't want that there it's really important that when you apply your glue that when you press your book down and, and have your heavy thing sitting on top of it that you take a paper towel and wipe the edge immediately because when you press it down that's when that gel medium is going to smush out and that's when those little bubbles are going to occur so if you wipe them with a paper towel it will smooth the glue back into place but it also removes those bubbles so that's just a little tip also remember to keep the wax paper in between while it dries that way your both of your covers don't stay glued too and for the back cover, mine is sticking because I've applied a good bit of gel medium. You want to make sure that you're liberal with this gel medium or Mod Podge, whatever you're using. You want it to be nice and juicy and thick on there. Don't be stingy with the, with the Mod Podge and gel medium. You want these pages to stick together. My back cover here is glued on just by going over my three sides here with my gel medium. If you're concerned that your, your back cover is not going to stick or if you find that your back cover doesn't stick, Simply glue it, you know, open, open the inside of it up, add your glue, close it, and stick something heavy on top of it. And that will keep your back cover nice and secured and tight. And there you go. That's how you make a hollowed book. It's really easy. It's, it's not even that time consuming. The longest part is really applying the glue and making sure that each coat is dry. And then hollowing out the pages doesn't take all that long. You just want to be really careful, and it's a matter of how thick your book is. The thicker your book is, the longer it's going to take to hollow out, but it really doesn't take very long. You can hollow an entire book in less than an hour. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment in the, yeah, down there, in the YouTube comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I think that's it. I'll see you next time. Mwah! Bye!